What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're making America's favorite food. That's right, we are making pizza. We know it's America's favorite food because simultaneously, America also has the biggest obesity problem out of anywhere in the world. Shocking statistics, I know, but hey, we're here to flip this around. Cause today, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect thin crust pizza loaded down with meat, loaded down with protein, and one that's actually gonna fit into your diet and not cause the button on your pants to shoot across the room and take out an eye. Once you learn how to make a healthy, stupid, simple thin crust pizza, you'll never look the other way Again. And today we're actually gonna have a second taste tester to make sure my taste buds aren't bought and sold. Influenced, if you will. <laughs> so welcome to Mika to the channel. Back on. Hey y'all. You ready to eat a healthy pizza? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're gonna find out. If y'all are ready to get epic video underway, then as always, man. I'm here to do it for you. That's right. <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, I promise you this is so easy. Anybody watching can do it. Now, with this thin crust pizza, when it comes to the crust, instead of actually making dough from scratch or buying a pre-made crust, what we're gonna use instead for the crust, it's a game changer and I'm about to give it away, we're gonna be using a large burrito sized tortilla. Now, I can read the comments now. I can visualize them. People are gonna be saying, Rem, a tortilla isn't pizza crust. And I tell you to just use your imagination because realistically, your dad's not your dad. It's actually that guy that used to deliver the mail, but you've been playing along this whole time. Things are good, right? Is that, is that good or should I keep putting that in? There. This is a mission burrito tortilla. This thing is 210 calories. I'm gonna show you a couple little things we'll do to make sure it's crispy. It actually doesn't fold over when you're holding a slice of pizza. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. Save us calories and it's gonna be a win-win for everybody watching. Here we go. So starting off, what we're actually gonna need is an oven safe pan. You can tell if your pan's oven safe or not because of this handles plastic, it's gonna melt in the oven. So it needs to be oven safe. You get more benefits besides it just being oven safe. For instance, if you gotta crack someone over the head with one of the plastic <laughs> handle, you might only get one hit and that weapon durability goes to zero. But with this, you get a good 10, 15, 20 clubs out of this one. So this is what we gotta do, oven safe. And what we wanna do is hit this with nonstick spray. Then we're just gonna take one of our tortillas and put it right down here in the middle. When it comes to the rest of the ingredients, we do need to use a food scale to make sure we're hitting the calories we need to hit. We know exactly what we're putting on our body. If you wanna guarantee weight loss, especially if you're eating out of my cookbook or from the recipes on the channel, you gotta measure things out. We can't guarantee it works if you don't know what you're putting in your body. If you're trying to diet and you're not using a food scale, it's like really wanting to go on a date and you ask your sister to go. Not only is that morally wrong, but I'm questioning a lot about you. So use that food scale. The first thing we're gonna put on here is 63 grams of a pizza sauce. Now if you buy a basic generic pizza sauce like this, typically they're all gonna be pretty low in calories. Once you start getting into the ones that have added olive oil and things like that, where the calories will get out of control. But I'm telling you, this tastes just fine. You're not missing much, I promise. We go on here and make sure we get this edge to edge. We'll leave a little room on the outside for our crust. Once we got the sauce spread, we need to add some cheese. And here's where the majority of pizza calories come from. It comes from the cheese. Loaded down with fat, makes everything way greasier, tons of calories. If you use fat-free cheese, however, for a one ounce or 28 gram serving, it's only 40 calories. And listen to this, zero grams of fat, two grams of carbs, nine grams of protein. This is basically pure protein right here, so it's a win-win. And it melts, it's gonna taste good, and I'm telling you, don't knock it till you try it. So what we're gonna do, I have 112 grams weighed out in a bowl right here. Just take it and just spread it on here, right on top of sauce. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And at this point, you can skip the next ingredients if you were boring, didn't have a lot of fun growing up, and you just like cheese pizza. But if you were a man with strong values and a lust for vengeance, then you're gonna wanna do the meat lovers. So that's what we do in this house, and I won't have it any other way, right? Right. She knows, it's all meat all the time. <laughs> so what we got here, what we're gonna add, the first meat product we're gonna add, obviously we're gonna put pepperoni on a meat lover's pizza, but we're not doing regular pepperoni because once again, hashtag calories, hashtag bubble butt. So what we're gonna do instead is turkey pepperoni, and this is one of those diet food items where we're saving a ton of calories, but personally, I think it tastes just as good as pepperoni. So I have 30 grams weighed out right here. And what we're gonna do is once again, just spread them on the pizza. And boom, perfect. And now we're down to the final two meat ingredients. In my opinion, there's a holy trinity that truly makes a meat lover's pizza. Babe, you know what the holy trinity is? Is it sausage, bacon, and pepperoni? Yes. <laughs> good job, babe. Thank 
you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right, it's pepperoni, bacon, and sausage. Anybody that tells you different doesn't love this country. But obviously, we can't use the regular stuff because once again, hashtag Big Booty Judy. So what we're gonna do instead of regular bacon is use turkey bacon, which gets eaten quite a bit in this household. My girl loves it. Once you switch over to this stuff from the regular stuff, you find that it's actually really enjoyable. So don't knock it till you try it, that's all I ask. And secondly, instead of using regular sausage, we're still gonna use pork sausage, but we're gonna use lower fat, reduced fat, pork sausage right here. Anything you can do to save a few calories. Sausage is something, you can take out half the fat and it's still gonna taste pretty dang good. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the reduced fat sausage log and fillet it like a fish. And we need 28 grams of this, so what I'm gonna do is take little pinches like so and put them in this bowl that's sitting on the food scale and do this until we have 28 grams. And after that, we're just gonna open up the turkey bacon. Then I'm gonna pull one slice out and this should weigh 15 grams. Right on the friggin' money. But we'll actually go in, I'm gonna rip this into small pieces. Same thing we did with the sausage. Think of the same size you want to be on your pizza. We're just gonna toss it down in here along with the sausage. And now all we gotta do with this is give it a quick fry. Come to the skillet. Got a small skillet preheated to medium heat, a little bit of nonstick. We're gonna pour this down in and give it a quick fry. And then once the toppings are fried, we're just gonna take them and once again, toss them on our pizza. We got the holy trinity on this bad boy. The best part is we can actually eat this, get a lot of protein in and not derail our diet. That's the goal of the cookbook, the channel, everything that we're doing over here with these recipes is to make all the foods we're eating actually delicious. We don't feel deprived, but at the same time, we're giving our body what it needs to see results. That's why if you haven't already, you should grab a copy of my cookbook available at the first link in the description box below. We have all the hacks, secrets, tips, and tricks to make your favorite foods this will taste amazing, but will help you lose weight, build muscle, and all the above, baby. Ain't that right, babe? That's right. That's right. She ain't ever told no lies. <laughs> Pizza is officially built, but if you tried to eat it like this, it would fold over, everything would dump on the floor, and you'd be fighting with your significant other once again. So what we gotta do is get this thing solid, firm, and toit. And how we're gonna do that? Follow me to the stove. So what we're gonna do is place this right on the stove. I'm gonna go over to my little temperature dial here, light the stove. We're gonna put it at about a medium heat, and then all we wanna do is wait like four to five minutes until the bottom of this thing gets crispy. You'll be able to tell, because you'll be able to take a spatch, and when you lift the edge up, it won't fold and do this number right here. Instead, it'll move around because it's crispy. So we're gonna wait a few minutes for this, then I'll show you the next step. We just got the crust finished up. Let me show you what you should be looking for. Come down here. If I get underneath it with the spatula for one, if I push it, see how it moves when I push it and it's solid? You can get underneath of it. Yeah, take a look at that. Crispy, that's how we want it right there. But we are not done yet. You can see the cheese has actually melted on here, but we need to give it one more little round of cooking. So what we're gonna do is go over to the oven. And what I wanna do is toss this in the oven at 350 degrees for about five, seven minutes. The cheese is kinda starting to melt, but we want it to melt just a little bit more. So I'll put it in here really for about five minutes. Once it looks good to me, we're gonna yank her. So we're gonna toss her in here. This is where the oven safe pan comes into play. Ooh, toss that in. Set a timer, you don't wanna burn it. And bada bing, bada boom, folks. In about five minutes, we're gonna have some magic on our hands. Let's go! If there are any silly gooses in the audience that have tried a protein bar and you didn't like it, you thought it was terrible, and you'd love to have something that's convenient and ready on the go, but you want it to actually taste like a candy bar, don't forget, you can always check out Anabar, which is the best tasting protein bar ever created, ever built, ever assembled by a team of mad scientists. I don't even know how they're able to make it taste so freaking good and not be a candy bar. I have no idea. But if you want to see what all the hype's about, you can head over to theanabar.com, use the code RJF10, you will save money, and I promise you, pinky freaking promise, you'll be eating the best tasting protein bar on the market. Now, recommend because Monster Cookie Crunch are sold out, you give this a try for your first one. If you like Fruity Pebbles and you like white chocolate, this one's a no-brainer, baby. Although here lately, I am more of a fan of that milk chocolate. I don't know what it is. Something changed. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check it out. I know you'll love it. Anyways, guys, let's check on this pizza. And check it out, people. After a little trip in the oven, get a load of this thing. Mmm, the melted cheese, we got that sausage, we got that crispy bacon, we got the turkey pep, and most importantly, we got that thin crust. Look at that. Yeah, check, Whoa, that's hot. Don't touch the metal handle. For the love of God, don't touch it. And look how easy this is, guys, with the tortilla. We'll just get out of here with the spatch, and bada bing, bada freaking boom, baby. That's how you make magic happen.
Now we're just gonna take a pizza cutter and we'll cut this thing into pieces. Listen to how crunchy this tortilla gets. Listen. Mm, and boom. And look how thin that crust is right here, baby. If you want all the deliciousness of a pizza without all the calories of a crust, load your toppings on, use that tortilla, you're gonna save calories, and overall, you're gonna be doing your body some good. Now, before we get to testing this thing out, if you've enjoyed this video so far, whether you learned something, got an idea, you've been inspired, maybe you laughed a little bit, best thing you can do for me is hit that thumbs up button, help this channel out more than you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed, we got tons of great content coming, and leave a comment below on what you wanna see me make in the future, or if you have any video ideas, guys. I've been making videos for years. The ideas are getting a little bare. So if you got any, put them down below. If I end up using it, uh, I might shout you out. I might forget. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys all the same. With that being said, let's try these things out. Come on. All right, folks, it's pizza time. We are gonna add a little bit of oregano to the top for that hashtag authenticity and some crushed red peppers because I really wanna hate myself tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> All right, and it's officially taste test time now. The reason I bring her along is because she does not diet, eat foods like this ever. So her palate is legitimate coming into this, like gonna be comparing it to regular pizza. Whereas my palate's maybe a little tainted by the fame. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not, don't even question that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get you a slice in there first. Why don't you pick the first one? And I'll do this big beefy boy. And here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, let go. Right? Mm hmm My completely untainted opinion <laughs> of this pizza. <laughs> really good, flavorful. I mean, it's just a thin crust pizza. Right. What do you think of the uh, fat-free cheese? I think that's the one thing people tend to have issue with, fat-free cheese. Um, It's not the same, but it's pretty good. Right? Yeah, I it, like it. It's not as like uh, creamy, if that makes sense, greasy. or is, is greasy. There yeah, we go. Yeah, and that was always my problem with eating pizza, was the grease, the grease sitting on top. Some places it's just... Yeah, so it removes all the grease, so essentially it's still cheese, for sure. I've just gotten so used to eating it, I, I think it's great. <laughs> Literally, other than the cheese, the rest of it, I mean, thin crust pizza. Mm -hmm. Like a pub pizza when you get at a bar or something. Mm. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. What about the tortilla? Crust. Crust. <laughs> right? Crispy? Yeah. So like a thin crust is actually perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Nice little hack, huh? Mm hmm And for the next trick, I'll show you how I made a body disappear once. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. And while she continues gorging like a bear fresh up from hibernation, I'm gonna go over the macros and calories from this. <laughs> In the entire pizza, if you make it exactly how I did it, which you end up with for the whole thing is only 585 calories with 17 grams of fat, 60 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, and two grams of fiber. 585 calories for a meat lover's pizza with 60 grams of protein that we made at home? You ain't really gonna beat that. Go on any of these pizza websites where you can build your own pizza and it shows you the calories. Go to their thin crust option, make the meat lovers, and just peep it. You might get two slices for the same calories you get this entire pizza for. The goal to succeeding on a diet is playing little mind games with your brain. If you want a pizza, make this one instead of ordering the one. Satisfy that urge, eat good still, enjoy what you're doing, don't feel like crap afterwards, and boom. You're gonna see the results. When you change the way you think about food, the food changes the way it thinks about you. <laughs> And if you want access to every one of my recipes from the YouTube channel and an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket with everything you gotta weigh out, the step-by-step -step instructions, the macros, the calories, everything, don't forget, you can find it at the first link in my description box, the RGF Anabolic Cookbook. I know that if you follow what's in here, not only will you be eating good, you're not choking down boring chicken rice and broccoli, you will also see results no matter what, as long as you follow what I got in here. So that link down below to check it out, I know you won't regret it. Right, babe? Right. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna finish this pizza and we are gonna get out of here. Appreciate you guys guys that all supported the Anabar launch, you rock, you rock. Young LA Apparel, if you wanna know exactly the clothes I'm wearing, head to toe, I'm Young LA. The top over here is Young LA for her. You can always head over to youngla.com, use my code RJF, you're gonna save money and you're gonna be getting some really cool apparel. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the lady stuff? I love the lady stuff. It's actually comfortable, breathable, it's nice. And I wear it out as well as to the gym. So it gets a pass. Yes. <laughs> It gets a pass. So make sure you check that out. With that right here, <laughs> comment, subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Check out all, all the stuff I talked about in the video. Check it out. Make this pizza. Tag me wherever it is your social once you make it. Let me know what you think. And with that, we are out of here. Appreciate you guys. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see every one of you with the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Later, guys. Bye, guys.